Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's Jewel. We are on part two of our uh, Torn Journal series. Okay, when I left you last time, we were finishing up uh, tearing pages and putting them into areas of the book. And I'm kind of happy with what I have right here. Of course, this will probably move around a little bit because now we're gonna add in some pockets and flips and uh, do a little work on some of the pages as far as stenciling and stuff like that. The only thing I did is um, added two more pages and what I decided to do, I was adding the hinges on the other side of that, is uh, to, to tear down one of these uh, music manuscript papers and uh, just uh, put it up for a pocket here. And look how grungy. I'm going grunge. And then uh, I tore out this out of one of my uh, little golden book uh, pages. I thought this, I love the mice. They're just so darn cute. So I thought I would finish uh, the, in the middle of the signature with that. Okay, so with that, let's just do this. And we're going to work page to page and start adding uh, some other elements to our book. Uh, I've got a stack of stencils here. Uh, I also have uh, some um, old uh, wallpaper pieces over here. I thought some of those might work as pockets. Uh, I've got a little extra fabric. I've got some trims and stuff here. I don't know if we'll get to that. Um, some music paper ribbon uh, and different items. And so I'll be pulling from that. I just pulled put the stuff on my desk and over here I had uh, taken some of those Dick and Jane um, photocopies of, and made them into uh, where I can use some of these as pockets as well. Uh, I probably will put a couple more of these in as flips on the pages. I've got coffee dyed bag. I've got a uh, coffee stained envelope, one of these aged bags, and some doilies here. And then also just a piece of junk mail uh, that I think if we have time, I'll do a little collage around. And this could be a fun little uh, pocket either um, this way or this way um, in here. So I'll probably put one of my, one of these cute um, images in there. Look at that. That's gonna be super cute. So one of these. Okay, so with that, let's go and see how much more we can get done to, now in this session. Uh, I have not used this stamp, and I thought it was so cute with the clouds and then the umbrella. So I thought uh, maybe on one of the coffee stain papers, I might use this. Some of the other stencils I thought would be fun is um, thinking of shapes, you know, uh, since I'm using the children book pages and things. So I thought that would be fun. Also splatters. And then uh, this um, design here, which is like a burlap. So let me open this and just have these on hand. And I don't keep the packaging because I that's not how I'm store how I store them. This is cute. Uh, I'll probably put a little bit of um, trim on this page. I really didn't want to get into the trim right now, but uh, let's put this down here just for the heck of it since I'm looking at it and then I'll probably do a couple buttons on it later. I'll glue that in and then glue that on, I should say. And it kind of is going to peek out the bottom. Let's do it this way. And then um, I can do button, button, button. I can either um, sew it right through the paper or just um, put the threads through and glue them on one way or the other. 
Okay, now I've got a blank sheet here, and so we could start right off doing a um, one of these little, look how cute this. Let me make sure that this one doesn't fit perfectly in here, and it kind of does. And how fun would this be? I think what I'm going to do how, why, how long is that? Okay, I'm going to tear the end of this because we're going for the torn look, just like this. It's got a little thought, little thought going. Okay. Now, do I wanna, I might just stencil over this and maybe come back afterwards. See, I have a little, um, Got some book page over here. I could just do a little collaging or make it super simple. And uh, we'll do the splatters. Like you've jumped in, let me move this. Like you've jumped in the, um, the puddles. And then I'll do the stencil. Uh, I've got, you know, I'm gonna have to let this sit. This is uh, my Distress Oxide. I just put some ink in it, re-inked it, and it hasn't sunk down into the, the uh, pad yet. So these will be like puddle drops. We'll call them puddle splatters. Like jumping in a puddle. Add a little bit more ink. And it's muddy water. Okay, so I think we're gonna add this right up here at the top of this page. And I'm thinking, you know what, since we're doing this, let's go ahead and do the back and then there'll be writing room on the back and we'll hinge it into the page. So this can go right here, and um, well, how do I want to hinge that in? More of the muslin, or do I want just, wish I had some heavy cardstock over here. I don't. Um, you know what I think I'll use? Let's use some of that fun cellophane, cellophane um, age tape that I'm just about out of. To do it. So let me see how much I'll need here. Like that. I could also do some fun. I'm trying to think if I have any real fun. I have some stripes and stuff, washi tape. I have to go look through my washi tape over here and see what I have. Playful school, you know. All right, I'm just gonna put that right there and kind of fold it right over the edge. There, and this will flip, and we can reinforce that side. Let me see what I have with her washi tape. Um, looking. Now, I'll just go ahead and see what is this. This is like, yeah, just some vintagey looking. Tape here, I think it's like advertisements. And it gives a little decoration on the page. Okay, then I think what we'll do, let me grab my little uh, stamp board and this will help as I'm doing this. Now, do I want to do these in a blue color up here? 
and like do the black umbrella because let's see let me do the black umbrella well that's ice spruce and not too black i'll do this uh hickory smoke okay let me just kind of wipe my brush it's going to be kind of muddled because i just put some of that all right let's see let's put the umbrella um, see, I'm looking at that umbrella right there. Okay, got a little umbrella. And then um, let's wipe this. And let me see, I've got, I'm looking at my blues over here. Tumbled glass. We'll try that. It's gonna still be a little gray on here, so. That kind of works. Do a little of this. And let's just take our splashes down here. That's kind of cute, huh? I like it. Okay, let's move this. Let's move on. So we've got a little trim there. Um, we've got a little flip. Uh, plenty of room to write here. Now with this music paper so you can write on it, uh, my suggestion, and I, hold on. And we'll leave one side plain, and then the other side we'll have it for writing. Um, let me just grab this paint. Instead of plain white gesso, um, these colors are really great, and I got the idea to use these in your journals from Amity Bloom. Uh, and I really liked the idea of it, so here's... This one is called buttermilk, and they look real pretty together. You can, and this one's linen. So let's use a little bit of buttermilk, and then, you know, you could also take a um, piece of, you know, where did it, I had the cutoff of my manuscript paper. Let me see if I can find that and put a piece right on there as well. Uh, I might come back and do that because I'm not sure what I did with my cutoffs. I, I, sometimes I clean up a little bit, a little bit too good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or I can't find anything. Oh, I think, nope, okay. I thought I had it. I don't over here because I had ripped off a good piece of that manuscript, music manuscript paper. So maybe on the other side, I'll use that. Uh, also, it's, you know, you could use something like this, but to make a writing space, you could put a piece of cardstock. Let me see what I have. I got a brush over here. And I feel like I'm not quite prepared. I'll just take some of my drinking water and put it in there so I place for my brush. And all I'm going to do is just squirt this right on here. And that's probably going to be enough. And what this does, it gives you a spot to write on. It's also fun just to use your fingers and just uh, put a little bit of this on your pages. It gives a little accent to it. So now we have this area right here for writing. And then when I find that little piece of um, manuscript paper hold on i think 
I'm looking right here real quick. Now, this isn't coffee stain, but you could, I could use it. So, this is just a cut off. Let's tear since we're tearing. we want to ink this will give that a second to dry I have my heat gun I can use that I have a really cute train stamp somewhere and I need to go and find it ink stamp so then we could just put this right on here and actually this would be fun for a little pocket too. So you can write on here and then maybe use that as a pocket. Let me quickly dry this. And, um, and you can still see the music, the vintage music in behind there which is kind of cool. And at the same time, then you, you, you have a little pocket here. Let me just get my uh, tacky glue for gluing this because I'll probably reinforce it at the machine. And yes. So I really don't need a ton of glue. And which part? I'll just glue down that much and then I'll come and I'll just sew along the edge there. Probably come in and do a little trim on here after. Okay, let me put this hickory smack away. We're moving on. Okay, let me see. Okay. These are so cute. We just kind of want to leave those. And then there's room back here. And you know, writing on, I love to write on vellum. So this you can write right on and it's and it's really fun. Uh, we could do a little trim on here. I think I might come back after and add some trims. But since I'm thinking about it, I think I'm just going to put this on as I have it right here, I'm looking at it. Let me see. I think we'll go this way. I'll just do it here. Now what I do is I want to keep shutting the... See, now that'll be in here, so that, that'll be fine. It just gives a little something. And then you can write up here. Make sure I'm, yeah, we're at 18 minutes. All right, oops, let me get a wet one. Okay, on this French, I'm gonna leave this. I think um, though we could do just a little pocket down here, just a little tuck spot. A mini envelope right here would be fun. I think I have one. Hold on. I think, um, I think I'll do this one. And I could do a little tuck spot here. Uh, I think I'm gonna tear it, if I can. Let's see, that's pretty. 
No, I'm not getting a, here, you know, I gotta start it. This is, because I'm trying to stay with the whole, the whole torn look. I don't know if I can do this. So we'll do this. Since I'm really not strong enough. Kind of shred it up the side. Okay. It's like this. I think I'm going to glue it down. And it'll be a side... I'm wondering if I want to put it up here. Yeah, I think I'll put it up here because I don't want too much tucked down here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and seal it up. And I'll come back and decorate this envelope afterwards. So I think I'll put it right here and then we have a little tuck spot in here and then the room... Do I want a tuck spot up here? And then in in the envelopes. So we just want to glue three, well, no, we want to glue four sides. Three sides, rather. And I'll move it right here, so. Fun place for a little uh, note or a little ephemera in there. So we've got, you have a top tuck and then you have inside the envelope on the side. We'll come back and do something on that. But I was thinking, this is such a nice heavy page um, that I would use, um, let me find that book. I'm going to use another page from that book as a tuck spot. This is a really old book. I like this, the colors. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and rip this out. I'm gonna use this right here do this. Okay, I want to even this side out a little bit and then tear this side. Coolers. Cool. I don't know. You would think I could speak a little French. My grandmother spoke French. She was from Quebec. But she really didn't speak it after they moved to the States. So, okay, so we're going to just, now we have a fun little pocket that kind of goes. And I might end up maybe taking this piece right here and cutting it and folding it and making a little booklet and putting it right in there. Okay, so there's that. I think this is going to be super cute when it's done. Like I said, I had to get out of my comfort zone for this one. Um... Right here would be also a good place to add some more paint after. This I'm going to do some stenciling on because it's quite boring. I like this. Very pale, so you can just kind of go right over. Right, right over it. Just adds a little something to the page. Okay. 
This we're gonna leave. This we're gonna leave. This is a very lightweight. This is so cute. We're gonna have to leave that. Now, I wanted to do something on that devil. I don't like it. So I've decided I'm gonna cover it right up. There's an umbrella again. Let me see what else I've got over here. I've got this bigger envelope. I could put a picture on it. Um, let's glue that right in. I would take the time and decorate this, but I can do it while it's in the book. Uh, if I had a napkin, that would be cool, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one of these little pictures. Let me see what I've got over here. This is cute. Let's put that right on there. Let me go ahead and just glue that right on there. And then I think Probably do a little bit of lace or something on here. Okay. Now, do we want to do... I think I'm just going to glue the whole thing down. Just I just want to cover that creature up. I don't like it. Especially with them holding a pitchfork, at, there's kids over there. I'm like, what? Some weird stuff. Um, I'm gonna take a piece of this. I think I'm gonna make some more of this tomorrow. And make it look like we just stuck the picture right on there. And now I'm going to glue the whole thing down. Come back, maybe do some fun little threads on it. The button. Okay. Put it right over that hinge. which is really good. That's what we want, actually. So that's kind of fun right there. Might do a little Velcro. Okay, moving forward. Now, let me check our time. We have these pockets here. Okay, I want to... You know what, I'm going to come back to that because I have an idea for... So, you know, this is all great for writing here. But I want to do, I have an idea for some more pockets here. I just want to see where I'm going to put them. I'm going to uh, paint on that. All right, I think I'm going to do some more pockets right on this side. Okay, I pulled this sheet out. Also want to do a couple of flip-ups. 
but I'm trying to think how I want to do this. I'll get to that in a minute. Let me do one thing at a time. So I thought I would do um, like three pockets this way. So I pulled this out because I thought it was so cute. See, crawl, cow, could, Betty could. Um, I'm going to take this here. And let me see, country, crack. The dish has a crack in it. The dish has a small break in it. Okay, two, of course, I like ice cream, it says. All right. Now, let me see how these will fit. As I, I was thinking, I don't really want to cover them up completely, but have one and two and three pockets. So I need to stagger these about like that. And I'm going to take this one, this top part off of that one. Desk is getting busy. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, quickly ink these. And I think I'm gonna have to, they're a little long, so I'll have to, let me just take, let me see. Pretty good. All right, so you're not gonna see that part. Let me do this part right here. Okay, let's lay these out. One. Two, and then, no, I'll do this one second, and then this one last. So, let me just make this a little bit, but I like that C. Let me see. Okay, let me go ahead and put this one down first. So, I want to... Actually, glue, wait a minute, let me think this through. Okay, so it's going to be under here, so I'm only going to do the two sides, okay? That's it. So we'll have, it'll be a nice deep pocket. So right there and there. So let me see though. Thinking they really need to go that way, don't they? Let me take that off. I'm going the wrong way because this is going to be sewn in. Duh. So we're going to do it this way. There we go, and then you can get to them. I'll come back and reinforce that with sticking, with uh, whatever. So then this will go straight through there. And so I just want to do the sides, and this one I want to do last, and then I want to do this one next. So I'm gonna have to take that C off as much as I don't want to. Okay, I'm going to do, I have to do the top. So I want to kind of have that ripped look. Okay. 
Okay. There. So then this one will go there. And I'm going to end up hiding that little girl. So I think I'll just pull it down this way a little bit. And then that's cr it says crack. Let me just um, do this. And get this real good down here. Because, okay. So then we're going to... Glue that and that. And the last one will have to glue the bottom. All right, so then there's that. Okay, now this one will glue three sides. Okay, so we'll glue the bottom. So, you know, it's doesn't, the papers, whatever you tuck in there doesn't go past that. And then this. So let's get that where we can see that little girl jumping. There. All right. So then we're going to have a tuck here, a tuck down there, and a tuck down there. Okay. So I think let me just go back to the beginning and... Uh, I think we're gonna stop there, but I just want to go over what we just did real quick. Let me get this glue cleaned off. And okay, let's see what we got going here. Oops, sticking. Oops, okay. I'm gonna add a little, let me add a little glue to this. Washi. Should just do glue stick. I'll, I'll come back, I'm gonna use glue stick on that. Okay, and then here. Okay, so we've got a little trim here. Uh, we did this little fun little flip. I need to add a little bit more tape, reinforce it, a little stenciling here. You need to reinforce that. Made a little pocket here. I'm gonna come in and sew. Made a surface to paint. Um, Gonna try to find that. You know what? I could do a flip here, I'm thinking. And then this can flip down. I'm gonna do this because I just think it's so gosh darn cute. And would this look Staples make a lot of sense. Look at that, it's so cute. Okay, so you can put a little private note under there and then you can write on the back of this as well. And that flips, okay. These two little fun, I'm gonna flip this one this way. These kind of are just gonna overlap right here. And once this gets sewn in, it'll be a little bit easier to look at. So we've got a top tuck here and here, and I just need to figure out how I wanna decorate that. We've got a pocket here. Just did a little stenciling there. I left this, this is so old, but we reinforced it. This is so cute. Gregory Griggs made a little, covered up that nasty creature, <laughs> made a little tuck spot or a little envelope for tucking away things there. Okay, now 
this would be a good place. I think I have a couple more sex seconds here. Um, I have so many cute. We could do another one of these. I just love these pages. That's the one I put in. I guess I, oh, here, look what I found. Ta-da. Anyways, um, I might put this right in the book. I think I might have room for one more. I'll put that right in the book. Uh, right here, let's do another little, um, since we got a pocket on the other side, we can do a pocket on this side. We've got this whole theme going on of the, let me see, I've got, this one's a little smaller. They're baking, isn't that cute? Let's do this. I'm not gonna tear this one. No, no fun rounding of the corners or any of that. It's gotta be grungy, shabby. Now, one other thing that I'm probably gonna do, since I, you know, I don't have my sewing machine over here, is go, you know, reinforce all of these areas. But some of these plain pages, like the plain, um, like this plain coffee stain paper, I might do some fun, uh, fancy little stitching up and through here. And this is something else I wanted to show you. I was uh, trying to explain. You can add a little bit of your paint on your pages, you know, when you're doing, especially when you're doing any kind of grunge look, just like this, and it just kind of, oh, got it over there, adds a little interest, and it really is cool to write on as well. And I'll probably come back and add a little Just, you know, and you could come in and add a little of the other color right on, right with it, and it actually looks really pretty. I've done this in some of my books. So even though it's the coffee stain paper, we're adding a little bit of texture. To a very otherwise, you know, kind of boring, even though it's coffee stain, it's fun. But then that adds a little something. And when I come it back and add a little, you know, whatnot there, um, fun stitching, what is so simple, you know, then you're not even, like I haven't even come in and started adding some of my fun trims. See, this would be a fun place to put this right up here. I think I'll add that. I think I'll add that right there while I'm here. Do I want to, or do I just want to maybe put it here and it can be a little tuck spot? Let's do it right here and it can be a little tuck spot. Actually, I'm gonna do it right in the middle and you can write all around it. So. I think this is the first journal in a while that I've made without digitals. I mean, these are digitals, but you know, a kit. So, you know, I come back and I will um, do something on the back and then this, this will be so cute right there. So, okay guys, with that, I'm going to say goodbye for part two. 
and join me back here with part three as we continue to maybe add some things and we probably will sew in next time and then the final uh, things will be the laces and some other things, some other trims that will be easier for me to add uh, once it's sewn in. Okay guys, hope you're enjoying this. Let me know if you are with a thumbs up and maybe a sweet comment. Okay, bye-bye, have a blessed day, bye.